Hi guys, how are you today? Today, I want to talk to you guys about something pretty awesome. TV series. Seriously guys, who doesn't like to watch TV series? Okay, okay, some people do not enjoy it as much, but I love it. And if you like to watch TV series as much as I do, pay attention at the three tips I'm going to give you uh, to use series in your favor, to use TV shows, TV series and different kinds of shows to help you improve your speaking, uh, listening, uh, intonation and so many other English skills. So many people come to me and they say, uh, look Priscilla, I love watching TV series, but I don't feel that improvement that um, some people say they do. So what can I do? How can I use TV series in order to feel improvement in my language skills? That's why I decided to, to make this video. But first of all, before I continue, before I give you this tip, I need to tell you something even more important. Do not forget that the purpose of watching TV series, if you like them, should be entertainment. You are watching this show to have fun. You are watching this show because you like the show, you like the story, you like the characters, you like what's going on and you are involved by the story. So do not forget that, okay? Because then sometimes you, you start using the shows uh, to help you with studying English and you get frustrated because you are not being able to follow the story to understand everything and then you feel frustrated and you end up not watching the show anymore. So it's entertainment, but occasionally we can and we should use it to speak and to practice the language, okay? My first tip, now that I've made this very clear that watching the show should be entertaining, uh, first and foremost, okay, it should be uh, for entertainment only, but now let's go, let's get down to business. My first tip is choose a show you like, but that will enable you to use vocabulary in real life, conversations that you will actually talk about on a regular basis, things that you need on a daily basis. Do you need to improve your business English? Do you need to improve your legal vocabulary English? Do you need to, are you a doctor? So do you need to, to work on uh, medical terms? What exactly do you need to improve? Because another thing people have a tendency to say is, well, I need to, to improve my speaking skills. And this is the number one problem. This is the number one thing students come to me and say. And I believe you, this is a challenge for many of us and we have to work on that. But when we are watching the TV series in order to help us improve our language skills, we really have to come down to what exactly we are looking for besides the entertainment. And you should also keep in mind that if we don't work on listening, if we don't work on structure, if we don't work on vocabulary, you are not going to speak the way you want to. So it's also nice to think about these other aspects of the language when you are trying to improve your speaking skills, okay? So if you are a lawyer who needs to speak English at work, you should try to find some TV series that uh, will enable you to see situations like that, to see legal cases, to see, to see and talk about lawsuits. There are so many TV series today that will give you that kind of vocabulary. All you have to do is Google it, okay? I am sure, 100% sure you will find. I watch many legal shows and I love it. Are you an architect or an interior design? Do you like uh, uh, to talk about decor and things like that? Well, there are TV shows that will give you uh, the words you need. All you have to do is look for them. So my first tip is choose a show that uh, you will use, you will be able to explore the words, expressions, vocabulary that they use on your day, all right? That way uh, the, the TV series you choose will help you a lot. My second tip is subtitle on, subtitle off. What do I do? It depends. Wow, teacher, you are telling me that I can watch a TV show with subtitles on? You were the first. Usually teachers say the opposite. Well, 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 that's why I said it depends. It depends on your goals. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to work on how much you understand? Subtitles off. Are you trying to learn new vocabulary, new expressions, new phrases, new phrasal verbs? So be title on. How are you going to know? So uh, that's why I suggest you to to turn on subtitle, to turn off subtitle, depending on what exactly you want to do. I love watching How to Get Away with Murder, 
Uh, it's a very nice uh, show and it involves legal cases and murderer and conspiracy and secrets. There's a lot going on in that show. But whenever I'm watching it, depending on the episode, I like turning on the subtitle just to check some expressions so that I can take notes. Sometimes they speak too fast and I just want to make sure that I, okay, that, that was really what they said. So I turn on the subtitle, I check what they said, and then I write it down. So that's the way you work with this option, with the subtitle option. Now, if I just want to work on my listening, I turn it off. You know, on a regular basis, I don't really use subtitles. I don't need that anymore. But if I feel like, oh, he used something different. Let me go back a little bit. Let me rewind. So I put the subtitle on, I check what I saw, uh, and then I take notes and I move forward. So that's why I tell you subtitle on, subtitle off depends highly on what your focus is. Are you trying to work on your listening to see if you understand an episode, to test your listening skills, turn off the subtitle, watch half of the show uh, without the subtitles, then rewind, go back to the beginning, activate subtitles and start checking. Oh, she said that? Oh my goodness, I didn't understand that. I understood something else. Start making comparisons or watch it with for five minutes without subtitle. Then rewind, watch that scene again, those same five minutes again, and activate subtitle and start making comparisons. That's how you study uh, English through TV series, okay? My third and final tip, listen and repeat. The best way to have um, a clear pronunciation, a clear intonation and speak more naturally. And by the way, I made a video about that. So check it out. Okay. Here on the channel and subscribe, of course, to my channel. But uh, a wonderful way to speak like a pro, to speak like a native speaker, to speak more naturally is to imitate, listen and repeat. So do you love when Jon Snow, or how, um, Game of Thrones, you know, do you love when Jon Snow is speaking? And you feel like, oh my God, he's perfect. All right, I'm changing subjects a little bit, but when he is speaking, he is using a specific intonation and pronunciation. So how about trying to imitate what he is doing in order to improve your accent, to improve your pronunciation? This is a great tool. This is a great exercise you can do while watching the show. You don't need to do this all the freaking time, but you can choose specific scenes and try to follow what they are saying. Then you can take my second tip, activate the subtitles, try to read what they are saying, and then rewind the scene and try to imitate. Like, you know, do exactly what they are doing. Be careful, don't, don't get hurt, okay? But this is a great exercise. Now, again, before I conclude this, this, this video and these tips, remember that above all, watching shows and TV series and anything else that is related to, to videos should be entertaining, you know, should be basically uh, a different kind of an entertainment uh, for you. So you don't do, don't do this all the time because you will get tired, you will get bored, you will get upset. So if you, today is the day for you to sit down, relax, grab a beer, grab some snacks and watch the show, just do it. But if a few days a week you decide that you should do something else, follow these tips and I'm sure you will be able to improve your English skills. I hope you liked the, the tips I gave you here on this video. I would like to ask you what your favorite shows are. What are your favorite TV series? Write down here in comments. My favorite ones, I have many TV shows. I, I, I love watching TV series, so I have many, 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 many. But I love Game of Thrones. It became a favorite. It was a student suggestion. And well, we talk a lot about that, so I decided to give it a try and I loved it. So I like Game of Thrones, I like Supernatural, Once Upon a Time, Grey's Anatomy, uh, Suits, uh, How to Get Away with Murder and many other ones. So I want to know what your favorite show is, okay? So leave me a comment. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, to like it and subscribe to my channel. Well guys, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.